Maybe you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but do you have to? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Bullet to the Head. Taylor Kwan, WDCPD. I thought I smelled a cop. I'm not interested in some disposable hired hitter. I want the guys who took out your partner. What are you gonna do, bring out some kung fu from the homeland? I was born in Florida. <laughs> You are insane! You're dealing with an ex-mercenary. He's gonna punch your ticket, and I am gonna watch! You don't just kill a guy like that! I just did. Just like Marvel Studios has their phases, so does Sylvester Stallone's comeback. Phase 1 was reintroducing old favorites with Rocky Balboa and Rambo. Then for Phase 2, he brought nostalgia into the current movie atmosphere with the Expendables movies, putting old and new action stars onto the same silver screen. And now begins Phase 3 as Stallone eases into a new crop of current movies and fresh stories. While he has Grudge Match opposite Robert De Niro and Alan Arkin, plus The Tomb opposite Arnold Schwarzenegger on the horizon, first up is Bullet to the Head, where he teams up with the Fast and the Furious' Sung Kang. And for some extra street cred, the film also stars Game of Thrones' Jason Momoa and fellow former movie star Christian Slater. This is a surprisingly middle-of-the-road pick for Joel Silver's genre shingle Dark Castle Entertainment, but it seems to be a smart move for Stallone, as it lines up with the kind of bread-and-butter movies Jason Statham and Mark Wahlberg depend on so heavily. The film is directed by Walter Hill, who, like Stallone, is another product of 1980s Hollywood, having helmed The Warriors, The 48 Hours movies, and Red Heat. Hill has also been recently resurrecting his directing career by the way of TV, with stints on Deadwood and the TV miniseries Broken Trail. And hey, Bullet of the Head is based on a French graphic novel. France has a surprisingly robust yet isolated comic book industry, and that's all the rage these days, right? So does Phase 3 of Stallone's comeback get off to a good start? Let's go find out. Nobody's saying that Sylvester Stallone should stop working, but can he still pull off the lead role? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he's, yeah he still has it. Yes, I believe so. He what? was good in this movie. Yeah? I liked his character. He's getting older, but he still pulls off the role. I think he's great. Yes, I think he can still pull off the lead role, but uh, I like him better with, uh, with better actors. What made you want to see this today? Sly. Yeah? Yeah. Still Sly bringing himself. you in, right? Yeah, still bringing it in. Because of him, that's yeah. number one. You know, I used to watch him when I was a little kid. I'm Italian, so that's kind of why I go to <laughs> And uh, I've, I've always remembered him from Rocky from the beginning. And all his movies are just great. It was typical Stallone. Yeah. And there's nothing new. Yeah, oh, I see. You know? I mean, actually, I fell asleep on it. Oh, no. Well, do you like him making quieter movies like this, or do you want more Expendables? This and Expendables, yeah. too. <laughs> Both of it, yeah. Well, all the Sloan you can get. Yeah, the Expendables. Yeah, you like that Oh, better? yeah, that was yeah. great. That was great. <laughs> you know? Because uh, well, he had other actors with Better him. actors. Mark Wahlberg and Jason Statham, they make movies like this all the time. I love the Bolton, man. I just seen the other one yesterday. Oh. With, uh, well, what is it? Uh, Oh, Broken City? That one with I've Mark seen Wahlberg? Broken yeah. City. I've seen that last week, and i just seen the other one yesterday. Oh, Parker? Parker. Yeah? Great movie. Oh, and so, he's great, too. So with the three, which one did you like the best? I liked them all. They're making a big deal about his axe fight with Jason Momoa. Was it good? Awesome scene. <laughs> awesome scene. Yeah, that was a good fight. And I was surprised that, you know, Celeste was able to handle his own for that time being. He wasn't as good with the axe as the other gentleman, <laughs> but uh, he pulled it off. I mean, he's just a tough gentleman, and uh, he just pulls off any tough scene. He's just there all the time. Well, after seeing this, do you think you'd be willing to try another new Stallone film, or do you think maybe you're, he's, you're a little burned out? Well, I would try another Stallone. I, I like Stallone. It shows that, you know, no matter what age you are, you can still become a great action hero. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? I would give it a 6. I think it's a 10. I'd give it a 10 and a half. 1 to 10, I'd give it about between an 8 and a half and a 9. Are you a Sylvester Stallone fan? Then odds are you'll enjoy Bullet to the Head, as other Stallone fans give the film an 8.5. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.